Hey guys, it's it's uh, Danny man. And Houdini. And Jack is over there. Got guys, say hi, say hi, Jack boy. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, guys? You like my new hair? That's your old hair, bro. No, I got a haircut. Okay, back to you guys. I don't see the difference. I don't see a difference in your face. Okay. You tried to burn me, but that that's not so good. But anyways. Hey, you can you can guys can let you see we're not in a house we're outside but we're not inside we a yard divorced. we're more like in an area. This guy's oh, it's not his. Dan 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 let let the do 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 the talking here. <laughs> hey, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, just trying to do a little bit intro here, bro. That's all I'm doing. How I'm doing? You can get to the interesting parts in right in about a second. And now we can. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Here we are at the horse club, Voerslag Pelican. So, we're going to do today the first steps of actually horse riding. Wow! Step one is groundwork. That means mostly just working with the horse on the ground. Not actually dominating it, but rather working with it to understand. So, firstly, we're going to put on the halter. The, um, damn, now I forgot the, the English word for it. <laughs> the horse is walking away, so he's like, still, you're not going to put that on me. <laughs> so, we're just going to put this on. Going to bring him here. And then we're going to brush and him And he's off. doing, he's in the so, back. Well, we're God done now. Good! God damn it. Women. Okay, so we go now back to the store, the topic at hand. I hope so. Okay, and we're also going to saddle him up. Put me, well, I as a professional horse rider and me as Damn a beginner. Yeah. As the newbie or beginner, whatever you want to call it. Actually, I'm not a newbie anymore since you already gave me a few years back a few lessons on I'm how to do still so. a newbie. So, Aww. first newbie, then beginner. <laughs> Just write in the comments what you actually think his um, because you're a newbie skill when you... level is. I think I'm a beginner because a newbie is a guy that never did it before, never got on a horse. Guys, I did get guys, horse, so. enough rambling. Get to the video. Or any one of his kind. Dan, get in the shot. I don't want to get the start of the poor thing. Whenever a horse doesn't like when too much people go towards him. So I'm just letting Houdini do his thing, then I'll go in for the the extra hand. A helping hand, if you will. Yeah, that's not much you can do with two hands by setting him up here. So are you. <laughs> Compared to everything else. We're not gonna go into detail about that. I hope not. Yeah. Okay. So, first part. Just actually catching him. <laughs> Did that. Seven but years ago, this was the hardest part of all. <laughs> but they the probably second hardest was getting on. And third part, staying on. But okay. pro probably the viewers bro want to know what's the, the horse's name. So will you tell them? My second part of my name, Kuduin. There we go. And that's his other horse, but he doesn't ride him yet. No, that's not my horse. Okay. This is my horse. It's that a is, horse. That is our, our, Your uncle's horse. No, not my uncle. But you said um, so um in English is uncle. The, the mist. Um in Afrikaans means a lot more than just Okay, uncle. we go off topic again. Thank you, Dan. Okay. First thing you actually want to do when brushing off the horse is not do what I'm actually at the moment doing. I'm actually comfortable with him at the moment. With him, so if you wrap your hand in your leash or in your lead, you'll actually be able to pull your away and drag it through the dirt. So, just hold it with one hand. At least he's actually pretty calm. You can just loosely hold it, so you can just hold the point. And there we go. It's done. It's done. He says stay. He says stay. Good hours. And you said you can teach I'm all sorry for the amount tricks. of Afrikaans in this video. This horse does not like English. <laughs> he does not love. Okay. So first thing is to get off the dirt, the hard pieces like stones, grass, maybe even thorns, any of that. I'm not gonna do the hooves today, but it's necessary to do the hooves. As in, you look underneath the foot, and just to come and see, 
the amount of obstruction in this loop. This guy's on that some hoofs. Just some little bit hoofs. Just his hoofs. And you actually have to clean it. I'm at the moment doing it with my thumb. Not actually very good because if there's a thorn, it's hurt. Very really badly. So you just actually get most of this actually out. Then you'll see a V. Going like this, but thing like that. Yeah. Right about here. Cleaning that will actually just make the riding easier in the way that it's more comfortable for the horse. More better footing, less chance to slip. Next thing is a rubber wash comb or comb. brush. Comb this around. you have to do in a circular motion as to get most of the hairs and dust or any other obstructions like scars or any of that actually out. And now Dan will take over. Come on, Dan, that's your cue. Motion. I heard what I said. Just taking a circular motion. Circular. And so the same, so Is this a bad time to mention I'm not recording? <laughs> what did you say? Not a good time, what? <laughs> there we go. Soft. They are gentle creatures, but they can actually handle a bit of pressure. The second part is removing most of these loose hairs, as that mostly removes the dust. This is actually what I mostly use for the loose hairs. Just grab it and it's in. Just brush them off. You don't have to clean with this. You can do a bit of the mane, get some dirt out of that. Go up to the, up to the one, the flank, the side, the chest, the shoulder, the belly. Even the legs. <laughs> Even behind the legs. Each leg. You get most of the rubbish out. Most of the uncomfortable hairs. And that. As this is a comfortable. Supposed to be comfortable for the rider and the horse itself. Just cleaning all the parts. Mmm, that's hot. And you can do the other side. There we go. There we go. You would trust me right about now, there one. The last part is tip of cleanliness. You don't necessarily need to do this. But with a soft brush, you can actually just brush away the last bit of hairs or dust. That one just fell. But still, just for nice cleanliness, makes them look soft, makes them look neat. It's not always necessary, it just very looks very nice. It's necessary to groom your horse as for its health. Horses in the wild don't get this treatment, and therefore their coats can be seen or torn, sometimes torn. Others are in good condition thanks to the environment there. Yet, this guy's in captivity. Even though he has been on farm, he was a cart horse before this. As you can see with these scars, he has here and there. He is there on his other flank, on his other shoulder, and the other flank. All of those were just cart scars, just to actually where the veins and everything holds on. Yeah. Next thing is always comforting it. Never just brush them because you're angry or something. Even though it's a great stress reliever, you do it because you actually feel kind of nice from it. Oh, what's up? And Mac over there, and Mac over there, he's a little cheeky guy. The amount, this little, I think you guys can see it. It's just a little scratch he got up with the sides. At least we now know this video ain't child friendly. <laughs> Just like your face. <laughs> yeah, he's a good horse. Huh? You're a good horse for standing still. That's how we can do this. Next uh, best thing is always to um, praise the horse for the minimal effort, even if it's the minimal effort. Yeah. Just because it's horse doesn't mean he doesn't have feelings. Just right? one question: Can you guys do this in 46 minutes? Because that's how many, how much battery power we have left. <laughs>
Well, most likely, yeah. The how much footage can this one take? It could take 31 minutes. So we just gotta do do this real quick. We are already at almost 11 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you think the beginning stop? Yeah, just, yeah. Okay. And the Alka video. Okay, guys. So this is now the second part. This Maybe. is the saddling up. So we already got them on a halter. Just to get them under to tame, basically handle them a bit better. Next, we want to put on the bridle. The bridle is this: the reins, the bit, and the chain that actually connects to its chin. So. Then you're gonna put that up. Firstly, this actually comes over the horse or the fence, whichever you're first to. I always knew one of you were over the fence. There we go. Put that. No, no, no. Don't put it into the mouth immediately, even though you can. Okay. So you just put this one over the ear, one over the ear. There we go. One ear through, and then the other one. Is it Did right? Did you pull it through? No. So you just pull it up, and you go, there you go, there you go. Ah, so it's there. You got this. There we yeah, go. Yeah, you good horse. You. Then you can actually take this off. Yes. Yeah, I keep it in on me, because I don't like the nose band. Yeah. The nose band on the, well, on him, it's a bit more difficult. The current one that I have, nope, this one. The current one that I have, the fifth setting, actually has a nose band, but I took it off as it's a bit more difficult. I'd rather keep the halter on, just to make it easier for me. So, you make sure it's secured. Last uh, double in. Last the double in. Double in. You getting for double. Is it done? No. Double? It's on where I move. The last double one, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Next thing of saddling up. Is the blanket. So, just take the blanket. He is actually very calm after seven years of work. So he really doesn't actually spook easily. And then next, the saddle. The blanket is for comforting and softening the saddle underneath. Even though the saddle has its own cushions underneath, this is just for more protection. Also for slipping, for slipping, or for anything. You make sure you make sure the saddle is correct. So, best position for the saddle is right above his hump. You can come here then. Just above the hump, and to make sure you stick your um. Damn it! This, <laughs> I know it's called a bag hot in Afrikaans, but I don't know what's in English. Just call it a strap. <laughs> strap. This strap is right be behind his shoulder. So, Got you just it. also make sure your other strap are up or down. Don't want to hit Dan over the head with that, so. Huh, they didn't hit me. There we go. I don't immediately strap it as tightly as I can as he actually blows himself up. He expands <laughs> with air a little bit and so on. So that's and most people say this is kind of unnecessary to, yeah, have, because another he's strap, fat. to have another strap on his um, stomach but this is for this saddle which I'm currently using as it actually lifts forward if he stops. This is just to counteract that and also to get a bit more balance. As you can actually see, he's quite imploded at the moment. This is supposed to go to the setting three these at the moment for these settings larger so way to counter like that is just to take it easy work with him a little bit and so on and compliment him as well. and there we go just stirrups and your damn it other strip straps <laughs> yes yeah, yep yeah, right here you make sure they are the correct length I um. usually take my knuckles pull my knuckles put it there where the straps mm. end you stand beyond side it, alongside the saddle, and you pull it till it's on the inside your arm. That's how you know it's your length. This is currently my length, which is the second tall longest setting there is for this guy. And there we go. Next, it. we'll see you in 
the wings. <laughs> if I was gonna ride this length now. But anyways, yeah, let me see if I can get this right on the first try. Oh! left me there, but hey, I'm okay. Oh! oh. Started with Started you. with you, whatever. But anyways, yeah, so let me see if I can at least walk with him now. So, first of all, well, actually, the second I name, never behind this. Yeah. But if the horse actually pulls. Next thing, know the riding style of your horse, which is not that, but it's too Next thing, to hold the reins correctly. Now, holding it correctly means it goes in through the pinky, comes out the thumb, and you hold it. That is the correct way to hold your reins. The other one is a bit closer, so there we go. That is length. I'm totally sure you guys can actually see in the warm-up video that I did, I don't hold them as this for the entire time, but this is the correct way to do it. What I can do, I can actually do just with calmness and knowing that he won't actually disobey, run away or anything. So, first step is getting him on the move, giving him a pace to walk on. So you just say, stop, as in walk, enough the coins. Okay. okay, stop. That's it. And then you, you don't pull him back, yeah, otherwise you want to stop. So you give a little bit of leisure, just put your hands a bit more fun forward, not there, but here. So that you can actually feel this tugging, if he wants to tug. And then you use your ankles, just stop. give him a pace, and stop. you take you say to him, stop. walk. Stop. Oh, stop. 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 Pull him in the direction you want him to go. There we go. There we go. Good boy. I should actually fasten that strap underneath the stomach. <laughs> And what Dan, Dan's actually doing at the moment is a perfect example of what riders actually should do. Keep a conversation with the horse, as in it calms him and calms yourself. In his case, is it, it's a him. There we go. And now you can turn around. Okay, and without putting him in the trot, you can actually speed him up by tapping again on his sides. You say, faster. There we go. Don't hold his wings back, just slowing him down. Okay, and as said, then we'll do a little bit of trot, and so yeah. Anyone? You actually keep him on the again, not kick, tap him, tap him, No, you want to let's do his boss. Okay, On the side, same the same this is a slow trot. It's not too fast, not too hard. It's controllable, but it's the way that you just jump in the saddle. And that's just going to take some training. Yeah, I could have done it, but I kind of feel like else. I was going to really fall that second, but I kind of got myself to step on it, so yeah. Yes. And thank you, guys. So, yeah. This was a nice video showing how the ins and outs of, of a beginner of a horse riding. So yeah, this is Daniel Man and Houdini saying and also Jack Jack a boy saying salute, salute. and shot.